so dear students we have done with the vector integral calculus then in the next lecture we have done with the theorems that is nothing but stoke theorem and gauss theorem right now it is the time to start the workbook question fine so i am starting the workbook question see i am having the question first question is starting with the integration this is nothing but the question number 17 which is a theoretical question in question number 17 so my dear students 17 onwards we are starting workbook question 17 onwards in question number 17 you can see there is a double integral and cross product so double integral and cross product is nothing but the stokes theorem so what is the stokes theorem we have done in the last lecture so what is the stokes theorem dear students what is the stokes theorem stokes theorem is nothing but what for the closed curve any integration of a vector quantity we have it is equal to double integration of curl of that vector quantity this is nothing but our stokes theorem where the see for the formation of the surface we need to close the curve right so here opposite is given so this is our given part so in the option we want to check so option a will be the right answer my dear students so this is nothing but the question it is asked in gate 2006 6 which is nothing but the what uh, stokes theorem so the question number 17 is what stokes theorem so let's start the question number 18 what will be the question number 18 in question number 18 is it is asked in iit guwahati 2010 fine if a vector c vector a is equal to it is given as x y i cap x y i cap plus x square j cap see a x and a y there is nothing but a x a y a z with the cap is nothing but what is the unit vector in the direction of x y and z that's it so a x and a y nothing but the unit vectors fine then we need to evaluate this integral <coughs> integral a dot dl so we need to evaluate that line integral and here over the path shown in the below figure so we have given with the path so i have given with the path so path is nothing but i am having a path with x and y axis so this is nothing but x axis this is our y axis minus 1 by root 3 2 by root 3 1 and 3 so this is what the path fine this is what 1 by root 3 this is what 2 by root 3 this is and this one so this is nothing but a closed path and closed path 1 and 3 fine so this is nothing but 1 and 3 okay p q r and s so my dear students if I want to take the line integration so for line integration I need to go from P to Q <coughs> fine then Q to R then R to S then R S to P so I am not doing like this because we have the theorem the theorem is nothing but our Stokes theorem what is the Stokes theorem says the Stokes theorem says is what the line integration for the closed line integration for a vector integral vector vector uh, function for vector function the closed line integral is equal to the surface integral there is nothing but line integral this surface integral so surface integral of a curl of that vector quantity fine so now we need to integrate but yes if i am saying if i am saying to you that we do not know the stokes theorem if i am saying we do not know, know the stokes theorem at that case we need to integrate its four time right from here to here then here to here from here to here and again from here to here let us suppose it is not a closed path i am saying let us suppose this is not a closed path if it is given from p to s not a closed path if it is given from p to s i am not solving the question i am analyzing the question my dear students if i am saying if i am saying it is not a closed path then we have to integrate from the for, from line integration that means we cannot apply the stroke theorem remember always we cannot apply stokes theorem for open line integral or for open 
path or open contour or open we can say the curve we cannot apply the stokes theorem right if i am saying we have from p to s right that means p to q q to r then r to s if i am having this path if if i am disconnecting it, it then we need to integrate it by the line integration but yes here we can integrate with the help of the stokes theorem my dear students so we are really lucky that it is a closed path so i will be taking the example where the path is not closed and we cannot apply the stokes theorem and in that case we need to apply something more that means the direct integral right so here we can apply the stokes theorem because why why because it is a closed path by which it is a closed path see this is the closed path we have the curve fine now if we need to apply so i am writing here i am applying here stokes theorem stokes theorem if it is a closed path dear students so let us have this a dot dl is equal to it is nothing but double integral of curl directly i am applying here curl and here i am having what ds see what is the ds ds is nothing but our xy plane see it is our xy plane so ds is nothing but dx dy and k cap why i am having k cap here because see here if i am having the xy plane see this is nothing but our xy plane the red color pen is xy plane and this is the blue color okay see this xy plane xy plane what is the direction of the plane please note it down what is the direction of the plane the plane's direction is always the perpendicular to the plane the direction of the plane is always the perpendicular to the plane the direction of the plane is perpendicular so i am saying if i am having a xy plane so what will be the direction it is nothing but our z axis so it is nothing but our z axis and what is the direction of z axis it is nothing but what k cap so i am having here ds so ds is nothing but what ds is nothing but what dx dy and k cap here i am having the curl because what is the stokes theorem stokes theorem is nothing but i am having the stokes theorem in that is why i am having the question number 17 in uh, just above the question number 18 because in question number 18 we need to apply the stokes theorem and what will be the question of 17 the question of 17 is nothing but the stokes theorem fine so let us apply the stokes theorem here so we need to have the curl or cross product there is nothing but what curl or cross product so i'm having here i cap j cap k cap del by del x del by del y del by del z and my dear students this is nothing but x y minus plus x square and this is what zero <coughs> sorry let us have the curl of this so i'm having what double integral here i'm having the curl so i zero because we, we are only having k here so we need to check only k you are getting my point i'm having k here so i we do not want i here because 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 the dot product of i with 0 is 0 right so here k this is nothing but dot product this is nothing but dot product this is nothing but dot product right so we need to have only k here my dear student so in k form let us have the k here so i'm having this value this is differentiating 2x minus this is differentiating with respect to of y so i'm having x here fine so what is the value it is nothing but x k dot k is 1 and this is what dx and dy now we need to integrate it we need to integrate that means we can use our chapter number 3 so let us have the strip here so i'm having the strip which is a nothing but a vertical strip let us suppose this vertical strip is nothing but g and uh, suppose uh, g dash okay no problem gate and gate dash so it is what the vertical strip the x is varying from minus so sorry the x is varying from 1 by 3 to 2 by 3 so i'm having here x is varying from 1 by uh, root 3 to 2 by root 3 and y is varying from 1 to 3 if you want to uh, differentiate with respect to x there is no problem let us differentiate with respect to x my dear students so i'm having what 1 2 3 it is nothing but 1 by 2 and x square so x square and the limit is what 1 by root 3 
to 2 by root 3 and here I am having dy. Fine. So, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, yes 1 by 2 and the integration is from 1, 2, 3. So, this is what 2 that means 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3. So, this is nothing but 3 by 3 dy. So, 3 by 3 is 1. So, I am having what 1 by 2 and the integration is from 1 to 3 and here I am having 1 and here I am having what dy. So, it is nothing but what 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 is nothing but 2 by 2 is nothing but 1. So, it is a good answer. We are having 1. It is a good answer. Let me check if I am having the option. Option C Chennai must be the answer for question number 18. Let us have the option question number 18 C Chennai is the correct answer. So, there is no problem dear students. Here C is the correct answer. So, this is nothing but the Stokes theorem question. Let us have the Gauss theorem question which is nothing but our question number uh, Gauss theorem question I am saying. So, this is nothing but our question number 19. So, I am having the question number 19 here. Question number 19. Fine. So, my dear students, I am having the question number 19 here, ok, yes. So, consider a closed surface here, always remember with a triple star, yeah, this one, triple star, if it is referred as closed, closed surface, then by default it implies in Gauss divergence theorem. It is important to know, I am saying what for your gate examination, for your gate examination, not your uh, PhD examination or not your the gate examination of mathematics. I am not saying about the gate examination of mathematics, I am saying the gate examination of your stream in which mathematics is a subject. You are getting my point? So, for this, please note it down, closed surface that means Gauss divergence theorem, there is no problem at all. There is no problem at all, I am saying, closed surface is equal to directly Gauss divergence theorem right. So, here is the closed surface surface as surrounded volume V. So, S formed what V? This is nothing but our volume. Okay, then next R is a position vector of a point inside S there is no problem and is a unit normal vector. We need to evaluate this S here is what 5 vector R dot n cap and ds is. So, this is our question. This is our question. So, my dear students, if I am saying about r and if I am saying about this is the closed curve, right? So, here I am having a circle in question. Yes, it is given as a circle. So, I have, if I am saying it is a closed surface, then we need to apply what Gauss divergence theorem. So, what will be the Gauss divergence theorem? What is the Gauss divergence theorem? If I am saying Gauss divergence theorem, what will be the Gauss divergence theorem dear students? The Gauss divergence theorem is nothing but our, it is nothing but what A relation between double integral closed of a vector point function is equal to triple volume integral of divergence of that vector point function. You are getting my point. So, what we need to have, we need to have the divergence of this, see 5 is a constant, so 5 is a constant that means there is no relation between the divergence and 5, but yes, we need to have the divergence of R. So, if I am applying the Gauss divergence theorem here, so it is what triple integral V, 5 is what out, divergence of R and I am writing dV, I am solving with the blue color, this is got divergence theorem we are applying here, so it is what 5 into divergence of r divergence of r is 3 so i am having what triple integral 3 into 1 divergence of r is nothing but 3 so 3 into dv it is what 5 into 3 triple integration of 1 and dv see carefully this is what triple integration of 1 if i am saying triple integration of any thing that means any 
the unit value or simple triple integration of 1 is nothing but the volume. So 5 into 3 this is nothing but 15 and what is the volume? Volume is nothing but V because the surface is not defined that we should have a volume. It is a closed surface which form the volume V. So that is why volume represent is a V. So here 15 V that is option number D Delhi is the correct answer for question number 19 my dear students. So let's start the question number 20. Fine. But yes. In this we are using Gauss Divergence Theorem. What is the Gauss Divergence Theorem dear students? Please note in your mind or note it, it in your copy. There is no problem at all where you are noting. But please note it down. If you are having the closed surface in your gate examination. I am saying about the gate examination. If you are having the closed surface in vector calculus. You can directly apply Gauss Divergence Theorem. This is the thumb rule. You are getting my point. If you are having the closed line integral then definitely you should apply what stokes theorem without any doubt i am saying i am saying without any doubt you definitely can apply you definitely can apply what you definitely can apply stokes theorem and in a scalar form you can apply what green theorem as well in a scalar form you can apply what green theorem fine you can apply green theorem so stokes theorem and green theorem are similar in vector form, we can apply Stoke theorem. In a scalar form, we can apply Green theorem. There is no problem at all. So let us have uh, some more questions. I am wiping the board. Let us have some more questions.